All right, so look at this problem, uh, problem number seven in our notes. Uh, it is a steady flow device. It is a compressor. All right, so air at 100 uh, kPa and 280 Kelvin is compressed steadily from 600 uh, a two is compressed steadily to 600 kPa, 400 Kelvin. Mass flow rate is 0 0.02 kilograms per second. Got a heat loss of 16 kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, assuming the change of kinetic and potential energies are negligible, determine the power input necessary to the compressor. Okay, so I kind of like to start with some of the same uh, equations. I can start with Q and W equals M dot uh, delta H, delta KE, delta PE. Um, these are negligible, but, sorry, sorry, let me back that up. Uh, these little Qs, sorry, are already per unit mass, so I don't have that mass. Delta H plus delta KE plus delta PE. Okay, but... Um, a few things. You're told the uh, mass flow rate, and it's asking for power. It's asking for power right here, not specific work. It's asking work over time. We really need this Q dot plus W dot equals M dot uh, delta H plus delta KE plus delta P's. All right, so this is the equation that I would start with. It told us KE and PE were negligible. Now, usually Q is negligible, but hey, if it tells it to us, hey, let's we got to we got to include that. We've got to include that. Okay. So, uh, you know, I think this is this is our equation. This is what we're going to want to do for our compressor. All right. The Q is 16 kilojoules per kilogram, but this is Q dot, um, and this is actually only little Q. Uh, I know that Q dot is M dot Q, and my units would work out really well if I multiply this times 0 0.02 kilograms per second, kilojoules per seconds, which is kilowatts. All right, so there's my Q now. It was, yeah, heat loss. So this is negative right there, right? In is positive, out is negative. All right, work. The work, the work input. For a compressor, you're putting work in. Uh, it's opposite of a turbine where you're getting work out. So plus W dot N, so that's the left-hand side of my equation, times 0.02 kilograms per second times, let me say, H2 minus H1, and I bet we can figure out these H's. For H1, uh, first of all, it's air. Um, it's at 100 kPa. It's at uh, 280, 280 Kelvin. Uh, this H2 was at 600 kPa uh, and 400 Kelvin. Now, it is air, and so actually the only thing I, I needed were the temperatures, uh, the properties. If, if we look on the um, property tables, table A17, because we're looking at air. Table, go ahead and flip to that, table A17. Uh, for air, all of those properties are just dependent on temperature. So I can get the H um, out at 400K. Uh, look at your proper table, see if you've got 400.98 kilojoules per kilogram, and the H in at 280 is 280.13 kilojoules per kilogram. And so then subtract that 400.98 minus 280.13 times 0 0.02. Uh, add this to the other side. A little bit of math. Wn 2.74 kilojoules per second, which is 
2.74 kilowatts. So that would be the work in for this problem. So this was a steady flow. So I can use this one if I only have one inlet, which I which is true. But it was asking for the power uh, part, the power uh, equation for conservation of energy. So I did my capital Q dots and W dot, and I multiplied that times mass flow rate, which they gave me. And so I can uh, do that. Normally I don't have Q for a compressor, but it gave it to me. Uh, I definitely am going to have work for a compressor, and that's what it asked for. And the H's in this case, the H's uh, were just for air, and so their table A17 listed by temperature. Use that to find the work in.